Station. When you're exploring the world of Days Gone, you're going to run into infected animals. One of the things that I think is, you know, really surprising about the world of Days Gone is that it isn't limited to just humans. Everything in Days Gone is grounded in reality. And one of the things we really wanted to do was make sure that if we have, you know, infected creatures in the Farewell Wilderness, that they're the kinds of animals that you would find here anyways. It's a virus that has jumped species so that we have infected wolves, which we call runners. We have infected bears, which we call ragers. And we have infected crows which we call criers, and all of these things are super dangerous threats. So you take these creatures that are already predators themselves, and it just makes them way more lethal, way more dangerous, way hungrier, and, and way more aggressive, and, and way more interested in the player, and also way more interested in knocking him off his bike and eating him, and maybe not even in that order. One of the cool things about these animals is they're survivors too. I mean, they've got primal instincts that have kind of given them the edge to keep them alive this long. In terms of gameplay, they offer very, very different types of enemies. Things that wouldn't normally have been aggressive, like crows, are now hyper aggressive and they will dive bomb you if you go anywhere near their nests. Runners you always have to be looking for, they're infected wolves. There are these creatures that are meant to take away your greatest asset, which is the bike. The players feel like they've got this bike, that they, you know, nothing can touch them. But then we have this creature type that can not only run as fast as the bike, but jump midair and knock you off of it. So it levels the playing field. Good luck if you run into a Rager Bear, because they're big, they're strong, they're hard to kill, and they are relentless. They deal a lot of damage, and it's, if you get close, they're going to grab you and thrash you and throw you around, and you, you, know, you, you might survive that, you may, you may not. They've got that strong survival instinct, so you just have to, you have to get out into the thick of it with them, but you also have to keep your distance and constantly be moving to adjust it to keep separation from them. Here, catch! You're gonna be surprised when you try to survive the world of Days Gone at just how many different types of freakers there are. Not just, not just infected humans, but animals as well. April 26th, the world's coming for you.